Revere Wear 1801 Patton, and it has the number on it, 227-2609. Today the girls and I are headed to a town about an hour away and we are looking for rugs. I am still trying to find a rug. And I figured Home Goods is a really good place to look because you can get quality rugs for a really good price. So let's head to town and Home Goods and let's see if we can find a rug. Headed into Home Goods, I was really excited to hopefully find a rug, and I know they have a really nice selection of large rugs, and the prices on the rugs are pretty reasonable. And I thought if I can find one in store, then I wouldn't have to order, I could actually see it in person, so that was my goal. and. I think I know what style of rug I want, but sometimes when I get to shopping or I see certain things that catch my eye, certain colors, textures, then my idea might change. So we're just shopping around and seeing what we can find. I had two rugs in mind and I just had to narrow them down and the gentleman who came to help me was so kind and he was very nice and he laid down three rugs on the floor so that I could get a better look and a better idea and it really changes the look of a rug when it's laying flat on the ground instead of hanging straight up in the air. All right, I found a beautiful Ralph Lauren solid blue rug that was absolutely gorgeous, but um, if I had my den all finished, I would have bought it to put in the den, but I'm not even to that project yet, so I did not find any rug for the living room, unfortunately. And the rugs look so different up hanging down than when you have the people or the guy helping me, he pulled it down and I laid it on the, the floor and I was like, oh no, totally changed the whole look of the rug. So uh, if you haven't thought of it, when you're looking at rugs, lay it on the ground and see if it looks as beautiful on a downward glance that as it's hanging up. So you want to make sure that the rug is just as beautiful laying flat as it is hanging in the air. So no rug at home goods. So let's head to a thrift store there and maybe I'll find a rug there. I would love to find a thrifted rug, but um, the problem with thrifting or the challenge, not problem, the challenge of thrifting is waiting and being patient. So let's go thrifting and see what we can find. Sure do you want one of this? All this furniture outside. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that is cute. Oh, it's got, it's not. Oh no, 
just have to redo it, but it ain't good for this furniture to be in the sun, huh? I'll set for releasing. Yeah. A little chair is This little chair is so cute. Come on, babe. We are headed to our first and only thrift store today, and it was so hot. The girls set their little ice creams right there, right outside the door, and we grabbed them on our way out and threw them away. We found a couple items here at this store that were very nice items, and I wouldn't say we came out with a armful, but what we did find I really liked, and I was very happy to purchase. I am also on the lookout for two matching chairs for our, my kitchen and I already have two and I need a matching set and so I've been keeping my eye out and just looking to see what I can find as I thrift and go to estate sales and this thrift store is rather large and it's actually a very good thrift store and I'm sorry, but I cannot remember the name of this thrift store, but it is very nice and very well taken care of, I think. I have been keeping my eye out for these pots and pans and sadly that one did not have a lid and I know I could probably find one elsewhere but I would rather just thrift the complete set or pot and lid together and so I put that pan back and I did not purchase it. I headed on over to the clothes here just shortly and I found a couple items I like. I was really looking for a blazer for this fall or anything for our upcoming camping trip and it's so much better to thrift t-shirts and hoodies, play shoes for the girls and Violet found this little blazer and I think she looks adorable in it but it had some bleach on it right there and so we did not purchase that at all. We're not going to get it today. This is cute for fall. So do these two. I have bought several blazers new and they are priced rather high. I'm talking like over a hundred dollars. So when I saw this really pretty linen-y kind of a caramel brown color, I thought it was a little high priced, but when you consider how expensive new items are, it's rather inexpensive. So. I grabbed that and Violet was shopping for herself and we are almost ready to check out and then I'm going to take you guys home and show you my haul. We 
went to um, Chick-fil-A and got the girls ice cream and um, I did not find any rug at the thrift store but I did find some items that I really like so I'm going to share those with you um, right now. The first item is a pair of hiking boots that Violet found and we are actually preparing to go camping for a week and so I've been super busy and um, I'm going to be vlogging that as well, sharing our camping trip with you guys. There is a hike that is down into the San Joaquin River and it is like a two hour hike straight down and a two hour hike I believe straight up. Titus did it last year and um, it's very hard. So I plan on doing it, Lord willing. I love hiking and Violet, <laughs> she thinks she's going and I'm like, I don't know if she, I think she can do it. She, so she found these hiking boots because she is going down into the San Joaquin River on that hike. The boots were $5 and that is a very good price for hiking boots and they honestly look brand new. So that was one of the items we found and I found this beautiful, I don't want to clang it around, Revere Wear 1801 Patton, and it has the number on it, 227-2609, and um, copper clad stainless steel. And I got this pot for 250, and it is in perfect condition. I love, love these pots. I almost have an obsession with them now. The lid is in perfect condition. An elderly lady in line, um, she was really super sweet. She's like, she told me you need to check the inside of the pans before you purchase them. So I thought that was a really good tip that I hadn't thought of. And it was in perfect, perfect condition. I love it. I've been cooking with this quite almost literally every day since we bought it. I thrifted this beautiful brown blazer. It is like a really pretty brown coppery color and the brand it's made in, oh, it's made in Russia. I didn't even notice that. International Scene. I don't know if you guys have bought this brand. I'm sure it's an older brand. Like it's not recent is what I mean. Like it's not made anymore. Um, has pockets, really pretty brown buttons. And it's like a linen. So I'm gonna be pairing this this fall with like a really pretty cream dress or a black skirt and a cute hat. Um, and I paid $5.99 or $6 for this jacket, which is kind of expensive, but when compared to new, it's super cheap. I've already washed it. I just have to iron it. And that's another one of my finds. And we stopped by World Market to look at rugs too. I did not film there. I picked these candles up a couple months ago from World Market and I forgot to show you guys. I love them. I'm going back for more. I think they're so pretty. I love the scallop or the kind of a swirl detail on them. They're really pretty. That's a really good likeness of them. And these are five, uh, basically $5 for two, so not too bad. I'm gonna be purchasing more of these for the living room makeover. And I am on to the baseboards, you guys. This week of camping and planning is throwing me off, but I basically just have baseboards left and finding a rug. So let's keep our fingers crossed and hope that I can find a rug and preferably thrifted. So I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys on the next video. Mm -hmm.